I've been choked in city licensed massage parlors, body rub centers as we call them, to the point of near unconsciousness. I've been stalked. I've been followed home where men have been banging on my door at two o'clock in the morning. I'm scared to, you know, walk my dog, take my trash out. They're leaving love notes in there in, in my mailbox. They're, you know, circling in my neighborhood. They're circling around the brothel because, hey, go on the website and you can find me. I'm there four days a week, five days a week. Here's my times that I'm there. You know, so they'd be sitting, they'd be watching us. Like there's a, a very big fear of obsession that comes with a lot of these sex buyers too, because you're selling them a fantasy. You're telling them, you know, hey, you're the best you know, person I've had sex with. You're so satisfying. And you're saying all these things because you really want to make that man orgasm as fast as possible to get him out of your body and out of mm. your, your you know, vicinity. But, um, you know, men, whenever they're hurting and they're not healed men, healthy men, they're hearing this messaging and then they're like, oh, okay, you know, she does believe these things and, you know, it's tied to an orgasm. So that dopamine release and all these things. So they really start to get to that point of, of obsession and it's very scary. A lot of danger, a lot of risk, you know, where they're asking women to swallow ejaculate, where they're, you know, um, asking women to have sex, you know, sexual intercourse without condoms. Women are, you know, desperate for the money and and we're seeing this slippery slope of where these things didn't used to happen when i was in the industry you didn't even kiss a sex buyer you never gave a blowjob without a condom now that is almost unheard of and if you are one of those people you're very very unlikely to be making any money now what we're seeing is this explosion of girlfriend experience or gfe which is again you know kissing intimacy like so it's not even just the physical act but now it's the emotional you have to you know give yourself and your your spirit to this person not just your body and then that went by the wayside and now we're in pse which is porn star experience and that basically is you know what we were talking about with porn like anything goes you know you can find any video of anything and now as long as you have about 400 bucks you can go into a city of edmonton brothel you can request that a woman has bareback sex with you and these women are taking antiviral like anti hiv medication after the fact just to avoid you know any like personal risk to some degree and you know obviously of, of a physical nature and just doing that for the money right because that's the only way that they can make money some of these women so like how where when do we stop and kind of say enough is enough like we want more for women you know women deserve better because i know tons of women that are in therapy right now you know for ptsd that are still like myself battling severe dissociation and recurring waves of suicide ideation from just that feeling of being used and discarded one after another after another you know and that's your daily existence in this brothel room where you know a strange man who you have no idea who he is you're not getting any id anything like that our city just you know protects by your anonymity like many other jurisdictions and we just have no judicial recourse to even go after these men if they do something horrible to us i don't fault anybody who's in the industry i don't shame women i don't think like you know bad you you're a fallen woman or anything like that like i think that they are you know captured they are ide ideologically captured like many of us are right men and women who are involved in this and when people actually remove themselves out of the sex industry they always say the same thing to me one i had no idea and two my life is so much better now this is a huge injustice this is like one of the biggest human rights violation that exists and how do people not know this and you know ignorance right it, it's just not the narrative that is platformed because it's not palatable and it doesn't make money <laughs>